No, I don't. Your brain's huge. Massive. I don't know where you store the information, but it's, it's incredible. Who's been in since it was since like your day one? Your day, oh my God! Gang, why am I yapping? Cut the yaps. Give it up for our guest there, Maddie James here, everybody! Oh my gosh, what a go! What you do when you're so good? so cold. You look great, though. I would say, quick, get under the table. It's not warm. Get comfy. Uh, no, it's there. None of them are my computers. This is my diary. It was my diary. It has notes about you in it. You'll love it. You'll love it. Sit and get comfy, everyone. <laughs> Touch whatever you want. You'll, you'll love it. This is a secret Moscow tool we're going to use for later. You're going to love that, too. Bravitsky, Sarah. Hello. You did it! I did it. Yeah! Okay, gang, here we are, Fan Expo Dallas. It's Friday, we're getting started. Oh yeah, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. All right, if I, anyone just walked in this room, they have no idea what's going on. Who are you? What do you do? I'm Sarah Natacheni. I play the voice of Ash Ketchum on Pokemon. <laughs> We love it. We love it. We love it. Um, Prepare for trouble and make it double. Yeah. That's what I've heard. That's us. That's literally us right now. I'm gonna make a shirt. Yes. Always make it. Oh my god, we should. Oh my god. You must. Next project. You must. Gang, before we get started with again, I was just complimenting your amazing fan base. Because their brains are huge. Their brains are very big. Yeah. Very big I learn something every time I do a panel with you. I know too. I <laughs> but I think for your work and your dedication. You deserve your own little monsters. I do. You do. I have. I have three cats in my own. <laughs> what are their names? I don't know. My cat's name is Pikachu. Crazy. Yes. My mom's cats are Mishka and Vice. Oh, Almost the same. <laughs> Pikachu and then these things. Two Russian cats. <laughs> Two Russian cats. So, they I'm, speak Russian. They understand Russian. Do they really? Oh yeah, we speak to them in Russian. Uh, cats are not American. <laughs> you don't need to explain that, I agree. <laughs> Spasiba. Cute language only. I'll write that down. Cats, cats not American. That's not American, no. That's American, it's like kind of harsh. What oh, little baby, you can't do it, it's weird. Oh, you're right. Pussy, pussy. Better. That's Russian. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's Russian. <laughs> Here it is very well on cats. What's this? You're gonna need it. Oh, this is a challenge. You. A challenge? I don't even think of it as a challenge. Think of it as an opportunity to express yourself. Okay. But we're gonna need everybody's help. Yeah. So since the three cats are nowhere to be found, we don't have them here. Nowhere to be found. In the green room. No way. I shouldn't have said that one. Put a <laughs> put a pin in that. God, we gotta get more security now. Gang <laughs> for the cat. I'm gonna need you to help in the birth, the creation, of a new Pokemon just for Sarah. I created a new Pokemon. Okay, yeah, we're gonna create a new Pokemon. I'm create a new Pokemon. I'm, uh, there was just a drawing panel before, so there's good energy oh, in the air. Our, our energy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So first, my friends, we're gonna need like an object or a thing. Just feel free to shout Suggestion. it out. Yeah, just any good. object or thing. What? Dagger. Dagger? Keep going, go. Eclipse. 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 Mm -hmm. Eclipse. Mm -hmm. Charming. 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 The, the, the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon. <laughs> that does not fit in your pocket. There is no. Okay, yeah, I like that. I like that. Are you feeling the call to inspiration? Yes. Okay. I like grandfather clock, I like eclipse. Okay. Oh, that is something else I like. Oh, no. Sun? I like eclipse. You like eclipse? I do like eclipse. This is, yeah, okay. I take eclipse. What type of Pokemon is this, gang? 
What type of Pokemon is it? What? A fire type of Fire! 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 Like the woman's connection to the water? Yes. Okay. Is there any more Pokedolls? If Pokemon don't exist in this room, so I can do whatever I want. You are you? I am a creation. Yeah. I am the creation. <laughs> we need a new type of Pokemon and not a Chenny type. There you go. Yeah. Yes. Okay. The God Complex is forming, gang. We're doing it. We're doing it. Yes. Okay. I'm going to say I'm going to say, okay, here we go. Okay. You're going to be amazing. Oh my gosh. And we all get to be here for it, gang. This is, yeah, it's very special. Very special. And as, as I said, I only know one Pokemon. I'm open to having a new favorite. This one will be my favorite now. And I will say confidently in front of rooms of people. They will say, what are you talking about? You've never heard of it. <laughs> you will now. I'm going to do this. That's a really good circle, gay. Thank you so much. I'm going to, don't tell them what okay, I'm doing. So it's going to be a surprise. You're right. <laughs> it was going to be a shape other than a circle. You are so right. I won't tell them anything else. I'll just tell them how fantastic it's looking. This is really hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Eclipse was a tricky one, but you were so you're so passionate. I'm very passionate about this. Okay. I'm a I'm an art gal. So yes. like everything I do has to be really, really good, otherwise I get really upset. And when I What's get upset, everybody <laughs> has to know about it. It's a good thing that I chose to give this to you right at the beginning. <laughs> I know, right? Should we talk while we do this? Yeah, it's gonna be I, I get, this is this is right, Brian. Are you good? Are you good? I do that because yeah, I'm so I excited about so many things happening in your life currently. Before yeah, we get to all these in my life. Do we have a pencil? What do you need? Pencil? I know I have a marker. Do you want some cup? Do you have a pencil? And a hero comes along with the strength, strength to carry on. We're saying we good. Um, I want to talk about what you just announced on Instagram a little bit ago. Congratulations, Fortnite! Oh, Fortnite! Did you guys play Fortnite? Yes. No. It's so it's very cool. Pokemon fans were like, and then my friend who's on Fortnite posted about it, and then I started like getting that Fortnite audience. It's a different audience, different race. They need to start telling people that I'm on Fortnite. You do, and now is a great opportunity. We'll have a strange panel. So many actors play so many different things. There was one uh, publication that I noticed today or yesterday that said, strangely voiced by the voice of Ash Ketchum. And I'm like, strangely, do you expect me never to work again? <laughs> what are you talking about? I gotta work, man. I, you do work. I'm bored. I'm sitting here drawing fake Pokemon. <laughs> I set out to be an actor. This isn't my profession, yeah. though it might become. Who knows? Yeah, I'm gonna just keep doing this until Pokemon's like, fine. <laughs> Make one. Make one Have for us. <laughs> but that was that's super exciting. I mean that's huge. Is it's it your huge? Yeah, is it your first big deal? Video game? No. Okay. No, but one of my first jobs was a video game. I'm I just like uh, I was in New York, so in New York there's not a lot of work <laughs> at all. Um, it's 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 a tough market. It's weird. Dallas is like where all the anime is made. Do you know that? That's why like everybody from Crunchyroll is here right now. What are you even doing? Actually, this place is in full. It's because yeah. Crunchyroll is here. Yeah. Yeah. New, New York had a lot of work when Four Kids was around. Uh, yeah, but I still wouldn't say it's a lot. It's still not a lot. Like compared to what LA has and compared uh, to what Dallas has. I and, and it's an, and I after Four Kids closed and everything, almost all the New York actors jump ship to LA. Like, exactly. We go. Well, there yeah, you exactly. And you went you went out there and you said one of your first ones was on a video was, game. Was, was a video it? game. Yeah. This this was in back in New York. Um, I played. Do you guys know Bullet Witch? Is um. anybody here old? <laughs> what are we? What <laughs> the, the did uh, hands. Bullet Witch didn't uh. Didn't Darren yeah, Dunstan? Didn't Darren Dunstan voice direct that? Didn't Darren Dunstan voice direct that? Bullet Witch. Because you were in a video game, Darren Dunstan voice directed. I can't remember really? which one. Gosh, I am TV in the room. You know everything I don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't remember who directed it. I think it was Darren. I feel like I only worked with Darren on on Yu-Gi-Oh. I worked with Darren. Darren Dunstan directs Yu-Gi-Oh. Wasn't Wasn't Sean Schimmel in that game too? Or? 
Definitely have to look that one up for us. Definitely know better than I do. Yeah. So here's the thing. So much of what we do as voice actors happens uh, alone. Like I, somebody came up to me today and was like, who's your favorite actor to work with? And I'm like, I don't have yeah. one because Pokemon is done entirely. It's just yeah. me and the director yeah. and the engineer now. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's hard to, it's hard to dub anime ensemble. Like anime has to be because you have to match the flips. They can't do exactly. multiple. They have to do individual actors before. Exactly. Do so you guys know what, like, what dubbing is? Yes. Yeah. So, so like, we, it's already animated for those who don't know. It's already animated and I go in and I have to match the flap. I have the script in front of me and I have the, the video playing in front of me and I have to like match everything exactly so that it doesn't look like, ba -ba. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Um, but this was yeah. like a whole, yeah, yeah so it was, we were by ourselves. I don't know a lot of video games. I was still so excited because Fortnite is such a popular thing. Yes. And she looks really cool. What? She's so cool. She's so cool. I know. Cool. Super fat butt. Yeah, yeah, very cool. What is, is the, are the voices that are in Fortnite, are they like, is it more just like reactions that you're doing? Oh, or? no. Oh, so the fun thing about yeah. this is that I speak Fortlish. Uh, and you're fluent, of course. Fluent in Fortlish. Okay. Fluent in Fortlish. Yeah. It's it's basically just like give me any sentence. Okay. I went to the grocery store. I just like. That's almost that identical. Job. That's people go to college for this, dude. <laughs> I thankfully did not spend my money that way. So did they tell you anything? Were they like, these are the, like the vowels, these are the... Yeah, there was cool. a, so J.B. Okay. Blanc, you guys know J.B. Blanc? Mm -hmm. Great actor, don't know any of his credits. <laughs> Great actor, though, like legend, legend. I don't know how old he is, but legend. Um, he voice directs Fortnite. Cool. He's one of the directors, but I think he's the main one. Uh, and he, I do need to focus on this because it's like so involved. It's, it's coming together. Um, he would sometimes give me like a bit of a line reading because I had a thing of, what was I doing? I have a thing that I, when I do Diglett, I'd go like, dit, 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 dit. and sometimes that habit gets into other Pokemon and I think I was maybe doing something a little too repetitive oh, for Fortnite too. Because like once your mouse starts doing it, 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 it it's just easy to be like da 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 It's like, yeah. So the trick is to use a lot of um, consonants and to change the consonants as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And then there were a couple of words that stay the same okay. all, every time. Like the so, is always the same word or, or and. Yeah, words they were. I can go back in the script and look, but like, it, it, yeah, there were like, that's like a certain place or something like. Okay. I'm just making this up. Andorra uh, as a place. Um, like, that would be like, Chicago! <laughs> always. Is, of course. <laughs> but you always have to, like, be like, da 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 da, -da Chicago! <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. This is my job. <laughs> it's not <laughs> Simlish, but what was it called? For Simlish. Yeah. It's like Simlish. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Sim but I think Simlish has, like, potentially more, unless I'm totally wrong, I don't know, maybe you guys know. Uh, maybe Simlish has more, like, Words you have to hit. Actual thing. Maybe. I think so. So it really is a language. You weren't kidding. I think they might have a real language. Okay, we'll work on getting this as a as a panel member. We're gonna work on that. We'll work on that. Okay. Let me just think of what I need to do next. Or is eclipse. And it's a fire. It can be it can be fire, water, whatever you want it to be. You're the creator here. And for my friends who just joined us, Sarah is creating her own Pokemon. And after we do that, there's this mic set up in the center of the room. You don't have to raise your hands, my friends. Once, once we get started, you're going to come right on up to this microphone, and everyone's going to be able to hear you. We're going to ask some questions. We're going to get some good answers. We're going to have good times. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't. It's very yeah, serious. It's Please it's don't look at it. It's not <laughs> us yet. It's definitely just looking right at it. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to look right at it. It's that famously. Famously, do not look right at the we were right here in the in the path of totality. That's oh, you were, I know. Sure. It was like a week away from. Oh, oh man, it was crazy. I, really could, could have been here. I was very sleepy after. Did that happen to anybody else? I got so I was immediately tired. Really? Oh, it was really weird. Yeah. You heard a doctor weird. about this? Um, no, I just took a nap, <laughs> which is what I do most of the time. Okay. Some errands. Oh, that looks good. I feel like. 
Don't worry about me. I should know better. You're so right. I should know better. Now, pertaining to Pokemon, yep. I'm so curious because every time I meet Pokemon fans while we're waiting for you to come to the panel, they're always kind. They're always very passionate. But what is it about, because you are a Pokemon fan, but what was it about you are? What is it about Pokemon that you think like reaches so many people? Oh, so many things. Yeah, what is it? From the Ash Ketchum perspective, mm -hmm. I think uh, Ash is such a relatable character because he's a kid who's not that great at being a, a, a Pokemon trainer, uh, you know, uh, at battling, at winning, right? Um, but he keeps going, he persists. And not only does he do that, but he, he makes sure that everybody, he's kind to everybody along the way. And even though he's really competitive, he's still really kind. And he's really good to his Pokemon. He treats everybody around him really well. So I think these are really nice lessons for kids, and that's why parents let their kids watch it. And I think kids like it because it's action-packed and fun, and sometimes funny, and uh, relatable. He's just a kid like you guys, you know? He's just a regular kid who has no parents, and he's out in the world by himself. That's the one. So thing. true. That is the one. So but true. But that makes him aspirational. Yeah. He has a mom. You voice his mom. I were I voice his mom. <laughs> True. But she doesn't come around that often. She's not on the journey. She's at home. So you know. Um, yeah, and the Pokemon are really well designed. Yeah, for like, sure. Really Very lovable. Like, easily. Very lovable. Yeah. Scary. Mm -hmm. Cute. Funny. Um, very silly. Have you guys seen a picture of Wiglet yet? No. Yes, they have. We're going night right now again. I'll hold it right up in the air. Because I sure have it. Here I go. I can't wait to see your reaction. What's the What's the thing? Wiglet? Sure. Here we go. Very Pokemon. Fun. Very silly bicep. Oh! Yeah. Very silly. Very funny. Okay. When? Yeah. He eats candles? I love, I love an AI generated answer. It'll say anything. It'll say anything. He, according to Google, yes, uh, Wiglet is a water type Pokemon from the Paldea Paldea region. It evolves into Wugtrio. Wugtrio, yeah. When fed fifty, I have dyslexia. It says candies. What? <laughs> said 50 candies. I said candles. And that's the panel, everyone. Thank you so much. Call the doctor. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Candies. You okay? Oh, I feel good about it. All right. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I uh, very interesting. Is, is he anyone's favorite? Didn't think so. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. yet. Um, we haven't well, seen it. What is the most popular Pokemon type, according to you, from your perspective? Type? Yeah, type. Do people really gravitate to one? Like, I feel like fire things are always really popular. I feel like fire, but also at my table today, I, I've just gotten some new prints where it's just like a couple of the Pokemon I play. Like, I have Cute. Mistrevis, I have Chansey, I have somebody else, I forgot. Um, and Mistrevis, people are really gravitating towards Mistrevis. It's very changeable, then. Yeah. The mascot oh, for Pokemon's yeah. an electric type. Okay, yeah. that's true. Yeah, exactly. True. Pikachu's electric, so, you know. It's very true. Like Who has been watching Pokemon as you continue on your journey f in this room for more than five years? I've watched Pokemon Ten. since I... I was watching Pokemon since I was in diapers. Ten. Like, before Sarah 15? got on there. Twenty? Come on, Kay. Come on, now, now, hold on a minute. Now, now, I'm no genius. I'm no mathematician, Benjamin Button. <laughs> but that seems impossible. Wow, so like we've got 20 plus, you can guess my friend in the back, yeah. 20, more than 20? 25. Phenomenal! I love that. This is what I always said. There is not, you have like a fandom that's just not like really anything else because that's not the case for literally anything else. It's, oh, it's getting a face. It's getting a face! Okay, I'm very. Oh, okay, period with the eyebrow. Oh, it's good. It's a sassy one. It's a sassy one. 
I'm not so sure I love it. Is it? I was a baby when Pokemon came, when Pokemon came out, and I've been watching it since the crib. That's so cool. I love this game. Yeah. Also, all the facts about the Pokemon, like all of the the lore, but also like the facts, the factoids. Yeah. You know, like the, the size, the shape, and all you know, all the stuff, uh, the HP, and all this. Like that's really you can obsess over it. Mm -hmm. and people like that and the collectability of it because you got to catch them all. It's like. It's satisfying. As I, I started experiencing that a little bit, and I was yeah. like, oh man, I get it. I get what you guys are like, dealing with. See? It's a lot. It's a I lot. See, it's maybe, a, that's it's what's, maybe that's what's keeping me from doing it, because I'm just, I know I'm going to fall gonna, in. Yeah. It'll be too much. Yeah. Square Bunny's plenty. And then whoever this is going to be, no pressure on the name. It's just being born. We don't need to pressure you. Don't, yeah, he's just born. <laughs> as, been born. As Sarah is finishing up her drawing, my friends, if you want to start, collecting at the microphone. We're gonna go through this one by one. You, you stay focused, you just enjoy. Okay, okay. don't feel any pressure. My friend, when you are ready, what's your question? Um, I noticed Sarah kind of implied in everything. Is it true you actually recently moved to LA? Yes. Do you Is like it? I'm starting to. When, yeah. when, when did you move? Because it seems like you've been in New York for so long. I've been in New York my whole life, yeah. Wow. I moved two, two and a half years ago. Oh, yeah. like, they didn't even notice. <laughs> you have a good New York vibe. You have yeah, a good New York no, vibe. It's yeah, she's in the New Yorker, man. You know what I'm talking about, man. Yeah, you know. How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> My mom was from New York, so oh, that's cool. I love it. Thank you for your yeah. question, friend. Wow. Thank you. Spasiba. <laughs> I love your, your bow tie, friend. You look fantastic. You look great. Well dressed. Well dressed. Well dressed. Uh, do you have a. What's your favorite Pokemon? Pikachu is my favorite Pokemon. Yeah, I thought about that long and hard. I tried to like get a different answer. To <laughs> oh no, are you kidding me? What are you doing here? Who let you into the country? The farm. The country? Who let you in here? What? The border. How are you? Good, how are you? Has progress been made? Not on that. Oh no. I bet I want to see too. <laughs> yeah. so later, we will discuss. Uh, so Kitenier is someone I met. Where did we first meet? In Edmonton? Okay. We met in Edmonton and he wanted me to sign his leg. You're famous! I know about you! I've heard this story! <laughs> and since then, how many have you gotten? I was your third, right? What? I was your third autograph? Yeah, no, yeah. second. Second? Yeah. And now? What are we up to? 40, 42. Whoa! 40, 40. <laughs> Signature on the lake. Point to mine. It's so ugly. Does your mom still? <laughs> does your mom still think that looks like Peppa Pig? Yeah. <laughs> I drew a Pikachu. He wanted a Pikachu, and his mom was like, "Oh, it's Peppa Pig." She's not better at her drawing skills. She, hey, people love she Peppa Pig. Pig. She wouldn't know a Pikachu from a Peppa Pig if you showed us her on a leg there. Um, so I'm so excited him. to meet you. That's very exciting. It's great. Yeah, he's. I drove 30 hours. You wow. drove here? You yourself? You know how to drive? Yes. Oh. I, I can't drive. What are you saying? I don't know how to drive. Really? Yeah. I learned, but I've never really did it. Wait, don't put this on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for Fan Expo you for automatically you. uploads it to YouTube. It's yeah. automatically wow. uploading to YouTube? I mean, yeah, I mean, there's people oh still. Oh my god. <laughs> Out of all of uh, Ash's Pokemon besides Pikachu, oh, which yes. is your favorite? Oh, you can't choose Pikachu. Ooh, it's Pikachu. Eight palm. All the ones Ash has had. Eight palm. Eight palm? Okay. Funny Pokemon. Looking. As I said. Generation of Excuse me? What's your favorite generation? X, Y, X, Y, Z. Okay. Um, yes. Do they agree? Does anyone disagree? But what's your problem? Jet what's Fox yours? Fox huh? Jack Fox Whatever. <laughs> what's your name? Uh, Reed. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What's up? Um, if you can make a like new Pokemon type, what would it be? Oh. <laughs> the intelligence Pokemon. And it's just like the smartest Pokemon in the world that can manipulate anybody. Like a Sherlock Holmes. Yes. That's yes. a good one. Uh, they're the Pokemon you call upon when you like need oh, to solve God. a mystery. Mm -hmm. Hi, Misty. How are you? 
Good, how are you? Good. So I actually researched this question literally this morning, which I just found out, but oh. I'm from what I understand, Veronica Taylor, pardon me for the devil's name, but like Veronica Taylor was the original voice actor for Ash. And did you know you were ever gonna take over for her, like in 2006? Well, you've been doing it now for, oh my gosh, for 17, 17 years, years yes. of your life. What was, do you remember what day one was like for you? Oh my goodness. Do you remember Diamond day one? Diamond and Pearl came out at that time too, right? It was just coming out for the DS. It was, it was uh, Battle Frontier. And yes, yes. I was think so. yes. that yeah. your first thing? Was it um, like the Battle Frontier? Battle Frontier was, was your, first. yeah. Oh, so. yeah. No, as a kid, I had no idea that this was ever going to be a Amazing. line of work on even be. Yeah. Actually, the original replacement was Ash was Casey Rogers, but then they decided to go with Sarah at the last minute. How old were you? I was 18. 18? Yeah. And you didn't know? You had no idea? This was, you were like, no, I'm gonna be no, a voice actor. I had a random audition and I was like, what are you doing? Okay. Like, no, so. I was doing theater and then some short films and stuff yeah. like that. So. Oh my gosh. Which so one was your favorite the of the Diamond and Pearl series at that time? Which one what? Was your favorite Pokemon of the Diamond and Pearl series? Oh, Buneary. Oh my goodness. Yes. I love that one yeah. too. It's like cute. Yeah. cute name. I'm going to side with that. I'm going to side with that one for sure. If you need to tell the light down, you can like red. How old is Pikachu? How old is Pikachu? <laughs> That's the first time I've ever gotten that question. Yeah. Oh, big a genius. Is there? Yeah. Uh, Help me. Or roughly, uh, it's, it's about five years old because it was a Pichu when Ash was five in Journey. Oh my goodness. Okay, so five apparently, and I don't know this for a fact, but you say this could be canon. Yeah, it's yeah, approximately yeah. five. I mean, of course, Ash has been 10 for how long? Yes. So yeah, they don't, yeah. They, don't yeah. Yeah. they don't age. They don't age. They don't age. They don't age. But good question. It's the magic. Very curious. Good for you. Cool. I don't appreciate the fact that this mic's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I want to ask, excluding yes. Ash, who is your favorite of the champions? Oh, I don't know. I look Leon actually. Yeah, yeah, Leon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, what? What? Resident Evil, she said. All right. Not that one. Not that one. <laughs> He's not there. He cannot be there. <laughs> okay. So. Good hat. Oh, thank you. Nicely done. So, do you think the Pokemon franchise would have done as well if a different Pokemon was chosen to be its mascot instead of Ooh. Pikachu? Ooh, that's a great question. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Probably, probably, probably. But oh. I do think Pikachu is is the finest creature they've created. Oh. <laughs> the finest. Yeah. The finest. Oh, are you going to keep the drawing? <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you. I knew it. No, I, no, the people are like that. They covet it. I was just wondering if you're gonna what you're gonna do with it. Yeah, yeah we're, we're gonna see. We're gonna have to we're see. Gonna have to it's see. so it's coming together, okay. friends. But it won't be a fight to the death. That I can promise you. Ben Expo will not let me do that game. I can't do it. So it'll be fair and square. Hello. Uh, hi, I'm Ellen. Um, hi. Have Have you played any of the video games? And if so, which one is your favorite? Pokemon Go. <laughs> so good. Thank you. Yes. No. I'm, I'm not at level forty yet because I had to put it down because it's a lot. Oh, Mystic. You love it! That's your vibe! That's my vibe! Oh, yeah. Do you collect any of the Pokemon collectibles, like cards, yes. little figures? Yeah. Yeah, all of it. Do you I have a most prized possession? Um... Oh god, I have one. Where, what is it now? <laughs> I've had to put a lot of stuff away. Because I've downsized. There is something. I can't remember what it is. Oh, I have a drawing. I have a really special, like, Ash, like, original drawing that was given to me. And, yeah, uh, yeah, do really you collect the cards? Yeah. How many do you think you have, like, roughly? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, too many, too many. And it's not really well organized, it's kind of a problem. That's okay, actually. same. Yeah. I got, like, 5,000. Yeah, sure. it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I just, I collect everything that I, all the characters that I voice on the show, I collect all of them. Anytime I see it, I just take it, take it, just take it. And then yeah. Ash, anything that Ash is on, which is rare. So, yeah. yeah. Thank you. It's rare? It's rare. That's crazy. Yeah, I know. Wild stuff. Wild <laughs> stuff. Uh, Hi. Um, I actually have a question for you. What? I <laughs> Um, I was dared by the friend behind me. 
um, to ask, because we saw your phone case earlier, is that Alistair? Oh, God. Yes, <laughs> yes this is about Sarah, but yes, and I will happily talk to you about it after for forever. Thank you, thank you. Yes, absolutely, my friends, of course, yes. So, okay, so, I'm sorry, I have a real question. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. I don't know if this is hard, but what's your least favorite Pokemon? Oh. I don't have a least favorite Pokemon. Are you really? sure people ask me this? I don't have a least favorite Pokemon. Like one you just really find annoying. unbearably annoying or like? No. Shy. Shy. <laughs> Psyduck is my friend real breaking Nate's best. Pokemon. You don't have one yet? Was this like a least favorite? Are you joking? Oh, we a genius. <laughs> this is like the creature from Dune. It's brilliant. <laughs> What do I want to know? I don't know all these favorite Pokemon. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for your question. You too. Bye bye. Hi. Out of all the openings, which one do you prefer? Ooh, Out of the, all the what now? All the all of the oh, openings. Oh, like the theme songs? No, yeah, theme songs. Oh, I have a very soft spot for Battle Frontier because that's what I heard over and over again when I first started the show. Nice. And um, the original. Yeah. I grew up Classic. With that. Classic stuff. Hello, my friend. Oh. Thank you for the assist. Oh, you very. What's your favorite Squirtle attack? My favorite Squirtle attack? Does Squirtle do Bubble Beam? Yeah, yes, yes, yeah. But Squirtle, use Bubble Beam. Squirtle, Squirtle! I think you might, and I, you know, I don't know. I think you might love Squirtle. There's just something. Big Squirtle fan. Bulbasaur destroys Squirtle. Oh, that's so cute. Bulbasaur destroys Squirtle. What's your favorite voice line ever? My favorite one? Yeah. Voice line ever. Voice line ever. In Pokemon? Science is so amazing. <laughs> hey, uh, I was wondering, what's your favorite memory of like your whole Pokemon experiences? Um, it's, it's at the conventions. Um, I've had a few really, really moving experiences. Fans that have been really affected by the show, by, by Ash especially. Um, yeah, our show like helps people get through really dark and difficult times in their lives. So hearing those stories and just being able to connect to people face to face, yeah. after like being in a booth all those years, like to yeah to get to see people face to face and talk to them about how the work I did in a booth has affected them in such a real way is like that's that's primo. That's that's the best part. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon or Pokemon Snap? <laughs> I'm in Mystery Dungeon. I know that's what I'm asking. I like it better. I never played them. Okay. <laughs> I was busy. I should. I, I should go back one day. I'll like go back and do everything. Oh. Thanks. What was your favorite season of the anime? And also, who is your favorite of Ash's travel companions? Oh, okay. This is easy. Uh, X Y X Y Z. And Serena. Yes! I love Serena. Oh my god. I love Serena. Happy audience. Hi. Okay, so I was just going to ask. It's a little more technical question, but would you ever encourage anybody to enter the gaming industry just with like what you have gone through with your career? Um, just a new career question. Uh, the, the, in case you guys missed it, would I ever advise anybody to go into voice acting after everything I've you know experienced in my career? Yes. It's a great, it's a great career. We're a little bit like in a difficult moment right now in show business in general. So I wouldn't advise anybody who doesn't have a financial cushion to throw themselves completely 100% into this until they have like a good amount of work and can support themselves. Um, because the last thing you want is to be auditioning for every job with a desperation like I need this job or I won't pay rent. That's a tough spot. That's a really tough spot. You want to be doing, you want to be having fun with every audition and, and not have it be like life or death situation. Um, but yeah, it's a great career. I'm having a great time. I know a lot of voice actors who aren't even in my position who are also having a great time. It's, it's a lot of fun. But it's a lot of work and it's a lot of rejection. So if you're at all like averse to being like told no or hearing nothing all the time, nothing back from like the hard work that you put into every audition, it's not for you. But if you're, if you can, you know, have a thick skin about that, it's great. Get after it. Hi, Ash. Oh, shit. Um, Good to see you again. Uh, so, um, okay, can I comment on, on the last question? I was about to ask a question yeah. regarding, like, you know, 
I also want to be a voice actor someday too. And of course, um, you, you get the tips you gave were, of course, um, useful. So, um, so okay. anyways, my question is, um, what do you think Ash's music taste will be? I actually really like this question. <laughs> music taste? What would Ash's music taste? Yeah. I want to say, like, lo-fi. Oh, um, <laughs> I can see that. Yeah, like, he, he's like a chill zen dude. Mm -hmm. And then he gets really active, and maybe in those moments, like, he gets, like, a high-octane kind of rock situation going. <laughs> I can see that. But I think he chills out, like, when he's, like, going through the woods, I think he's chilling. I can see that. I can yeah. see that. Yeah. I'm, I'm, in my thinking, I'm in my brain, I was thinking, oh, lo-fi, it's like, oh, you're studying, but, but in reference to what Ash, Ash fails to study, uh, there, was, right. uh, there was that one episode in Sun and Moon where, like, there was that one episode in Sun and Moon where, like, Ash was, like, preparing for, like, um, a project, but he fails it, so I assumed he'd suck at studying, so that's why I was like, oh. But then, but then you said about, you know, wandering around, traveling, and like, I'm like, oh, yeah. that's not right Maybe he has other talents, not, not, he has other not, talents. not super great at studying. Maybe that's what he's discovering as he's yeah. on his own journey. He's got yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Thank you. Maybe that's his recency, you know. Yeah. Thank you, friend. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. Um, if you were a Pokemon, which Pokemon? <gasps> Yay! Oh. And which one do you relate to the most? Yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful question. I like Meloetta because Meloetta sings. Um, I also like Charizard because it flies and sets fire. <laughs> <laughs> also, how's the Pokemon coming? 
It's coming. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's really good, guys. It looks really good. Really good. Um, out of every EVM movie you looked one of this This is a question. I'm sorry. What? This is a question you get all the time. I do people get you excited. Do about people love? love? People love evolution. Evolutions. Evolutions are the okay. Oh, something I'm, I'm storing that one. You're okay. learning. You're learning. I'm learning. You're almost there. That's pretty good. Uh, uh, Sylvia. Yes. Thank you. Which one? Which one? There Sorry. was a. Um, don't worry about it. I saw you in the credits for this old like mobile game, and I don't even think you can download it anymore. Um, there was a uh, mobile video game based off The Dark Knight Rises. It uh, was it was voice directed by Tom Wayden and Lisa Ortiz. It had Sean Schimmel doing a Christian Bale impression of Batman. Who did you voice in that game? And like, what was it? I think it was additional voices. I'm not sure. I think so. Yeah, and I was very close. I don't remember who ended up playing Catwoman, but I was close. Ah, it was like between the. Uh, you auditioned for Catwoman? Oh yeah. No, we auditioned for everything. If you're like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you? Um, did you, um, I know you recorded separate, but did you ever meet Sean Schimmel when you were working in New York, when he was still in New York, before he moved Yeah, no, I've, I've, seen, I've seen him around the cons, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's awesome. true. Yeah. I love Sean Schimmel. Like, I, I love the way he, he speaks and everything. He's like, cool. I am Sean Schimmel. I am Sean Schimmel. I'm the voice of Goku. <laughs> Who voice? <laughs> All right. Let's go, Vegeta. I've never, I, this is, I've never watched Dragon Ball, so now I feel like I have. Thank goodness. Yeah, that's it. Hey. Yeah, of course. You can tilt it, love. It'll, yeah. Just the, like the top. Thank you, love. Okay. Yeah. Um, so when you started out acting, did you think you would become like a stage actor, screen actor, or did you like head straight into voice acting? No, yeah, I wanted to do film primarily. Um, and I just, I was 18 when I auditioned for this. I studied no voice acting. I, had no, I didn't know what dubbing was. And I just happened to book it. I started acting when I was 12. I went to Lee Strasberg and did the whole program there. And, then I did UCB, I did a lot of improv, comedy, and then I just I just happened to get really, really lucky really early on in my career, and here we are. Yeah. And yeah. now I'm auditioning for film and TV again. I took a, I took a long break. That was um, gonna be my next yeah. question. What other work do you do? Yeah, no, I'm auditioning for film and TV now. There's not much production, which is tough, but I'm, I'm reading for a couple of TV shows, some indie films, so hopefully that'll get back going. I'm back in acting classes, like, Intensive Thanks all the friends. time, every day. Yeah, because I, you know, never I, stop learning, I, right? you never stop learning, and and it's different. You know, voice acting is is a little different. Um, the imagination is the same. We build, we all build worlds that don't exist in our brains, and live in those worlds. So that I have. But with on camera and theater, I just did some plays in, in LA actually. I did Ethan Cohen and so Michelle Silverstein. Um, you have to memorize everything and keep it all in your head. Yeah, that's so, so that's difficult. A different, yeah, it's coming. It's, called, it's, all, it's all coming back to me, which is great. Yeah. Right. So we'll see. Yeah. Well, and good luck with that. Thank you so Thank you. much. Yeah. We've got about five minutes left, my friends. Five minutes. Oh. Oh, I wish I had more pencils. Sorry. You're good. Um, how was that like, or how are you feeling when you recorded Ash's last line? I cried very deeply. Yeah. <laughs> that was really hard. Yeah. It was hard recording the um, the winning episode. Man, when I, so if you've seen it, yeah. I'm like shouting like, "Yay, we won!" I <laughs> disgusting mess, like disgusting, <laughs> ugly crying the whole time, and I would have to like stop collect myself and do another take of like Ash being the happiest he's ever been in his life. So yeah. And then and, and, and then from that point I was like, okay, we only have this many episodes. Oh my god, this might be the last time I ever say I choose you, Pikachu. Like this could be the last time I ever do that was the last time yeah, Pikachu I choose you, that was the last time I said it because you oh you chose me again later. Yeah, anyway. When and like every like thing that Ash says pretty regularly, I was like, that's the last time I might ever say yeah. I'm a very it's sensimental, so and this is like my whole adult life, man. Like, oh my god, oh my god. It's Don't ruin crazy. your makeup, Sarah. Don't ruin your so makeup. Understand. I wore no makeup at that session. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sobbing. Um, but you know, this is why I try to impart on kids. Like, so many kids come to my table, and I'm like, what do you want to be when you grow up? This is what I do to every child at my table. It's so bad. I'm sorry. I want to know. I want to know, and I want to make sure that kids are thinking about this because, like, I knew that I wanted to be an actor really early on, and I went ahead and I did it. And maybe I wasn't that great in the beginning, 
but I persevered and I had adversity and I still persevered and I did it and I'm really, really happy. And now I get to like affect so many people and that's an awesome thing. And no matter what you do, whether it's acting or being an engineer or computer scientist or you know, whatever, an inventor, whatever you guys wanna be, like you have to, you have to choose something that makes you wanna get out of bed in the morning, you know, that really makes you happy. Because if you do something with great happiness and joy, you're gonna do a great job. Like become a Pokemon master. <laughs> like you're going, you're going to affect people. You're going to create something that's going to save lives or help people who need help. You know, you can have such an amazing effect if you do something with love. And that's and that's Ash Ketchum, you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. Anyway, enough. I'm done. I'm fine. All right. What do you want? Hey, Who's yeah. your favorite gym leader? Mm -hmm. Jim. 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 Jim leader Cynthia. She's a gym leader, right? She's a champion. She's a champion? She's not a gym She's leader? Champion. What? She's the champion of Sano. These things are getting mixed up in my head. <laughs> Who's your favorite champion? Maybe little Jackson. Wait, who are we thinking of? There's a girl who's a great gym leader. And it's not Misty, like, Misty, Misty. Yeah, Misty. She's the Saronian She's not the one I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of somebody else. Remember, huh? Yes, there was a girl on roller skates. Karina, 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 Karina. yes, yes. Bay, the boxer? I don't remember. <laughs> no, roller skates. Not she reminded me, I thought it was Cynthia, but it's not. No, Cynthia, yeah, you're right, she's in the black outfit. Another, like, tall, there was, like, a tall girl. Where was the tall girl? Do you remember what Maybe. What color was her hair? <laughs> Guys, this is tough. This is a missing person's game. <laughs> what was she wearing? What were her shoes? When you're on a show for 17 years, it's it's a lot. It's a lot. I you have a lot of people in your head. I have seen it. Yeah, I've seen them all. And it's weird because like when you're on something for this long, man, it all really just kind of mushes together into one big thing that you did. And maybe that's just my brain. Maybe I should go to a doctor about it. I don't know. <laughs> but I, I, I'm certain I was there. I remember like very specific moment, like a very specific moment from X Y X Y Z, um, where a Pokemon passes away. Oh, like th I remember really like really intense things that happened on the show. But beyond that, it's Ash on a journey, <laughs> feeling his feelings. We focus mainly on how he's feeling. That's what actors, like, our, our primary concern isn't with plot. Our primary concern is what is what is this character feeling right now? So, that's I think probably why everything else is just like another layer. There's like how Ash is feeling. That's the core of the Eclipse Pokemon. <laughs> the core, and then everything around it is plot. And like, his surroundings. So, and his relationships are in the core too, so that's why I'm like, Remember Serena so well. I love Serena. Yeah. Bad answer, but an answer. Yeah. I liked it. I'm sorry. That's very good. I'll go home and research again. I'll work back with better answers. You seem really excited about the ball. What was her name? K K what was her name? Karina. Karina. You seem to have a birthday. No, no, no. no, no. Yeah. <laughs> she, she was a lot of fun. X, Y, Z, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, my friend, we gotta go ahead and get to our last question. Thank you. I'll look them up. Good question, questions. good stumper. Um, yeah. First, which was your favorite uh, Team Rocket Pokemon? Mine's Wobbuffet. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's Meow. Meow? Yeah. Not including Meow. I got Meow. a soft spot. Not including Meow? Not including Wobbuffet. Meow. Wobbuffet. 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 Great. Um, on the second one, how did you feel like through the entire series, they didn't really give Ash that father figure up until like Sun and Moon. I know. When they and they introduced the professor, and then he got his girl, and they had a baby. It kind of yes. made it seem yes. like a yes. family. Yes. And like, how did you feel when they introduced that into the story? That was awesome and needed. Yeah. Needed. Yeah. yeah. We got Ash. Like, I really loved Ash intera interacting with like kind of generic environments like yeah. that, like environments that we all find ourselves in, like school. Yeah. That was really I have such an affinity for it. Like when I was a kid, I loved watching shows that took place in schools. So I loved like Hey Arnold yeah. and Magic School Bus. Like anything that like let me I'm relate right to the school experience, because I didn't like school. Um, Recess? Was, like, Recess? Recess was great, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I loved Sun and Moon for that. 
One more. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about Brock never hooking up with him? <laughs> <laughs> never getting married. I thought on the pool game they hooked him up with they were gonna finally like finish out the story, but it's, he's a tough one, man. <laughs> That's a tough one. <laughs> Everyone, let's give it up for our amazing guest over now. Just in case I see something. <laughs> the breathing. <laughs> Focus. Beautiful. 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 Okay. Beautiful. I think. Kaiten, everyone. I appreciate you. Kaiten, I didn't like that I didn't have an answer to an update on your life right now. Which makes me, where are you? There. Makes me think that you don't have good news for me. Right? You don't have good news for me? You can't confirm it. Okay. liability, right. So, because the situation is what it is with Kaiten, um, I must bestow this onto the person who gave me the idea. This, where's our Fan Expo camera? Did he leave? No, he's, he's gone? <laughs> what a... Come on, man. I got it. All right, what's your name? Oh, my name is Liam Tyson. Liam Tyson. It's very nice to meet you. Okay, Liam Tyson, this is Eclipsicus. <laughs> A new Pokemon, quote unquote, by myself. Uh, and it is, it is a total eclipse. There is a line around it. I wish I had colored pencils. Um, Eclipsicus is less angry than I wanted him to be. <laughs> the expression didn't really make it out. I'm not an artist, okay? okay. Um, but he is blowing wind, and he is on fire, and the ocean beneath him is just roaring, okay? So this is a very, very violent Pokemon. <laughs> and uh, this is my gift to you. Do you want me to sign it for you? Okay. <laughs> Give me good news, I will give you another autograph. Okay, okay Liam, right? L-I-A-M. And would you like me to write, Liam, I choose you! Okay. I like that the person who has a permanent signature is like, what? A permanent signature on your life. Don't yell at me in my own panel. See? Of course. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to show. I'm going to. Do you know the pride I take in my bad work? <laughs> None of your work is bad. All your work is good. See, I must agree. I'm on your side completely with that one. None of your work is bad. It's really, again, the eyebrows are more. The eyebrows are really tough. Yeah, yeah. no, they're, they're I don't know what that is. Pressure. Listen, I was answering questions. I was answering tough questions. No, they're great. There he is. Liam, would you please hold up the brand new Pokemon? What do you see? Incredible. Stunning. Yeah, it's going on a tour. That's what I'm talking about. It's going on a tour. Everybody, feast your eyes upon my work. All right, my friends, we are going to let Sarah get on her way. Thank you so much for an amazing panel, my friends, and thank you for so much.